70 WOCA. Ocala. Five minutes after nine o'clock. I love it. <laughs> uh, Jim George is in the studio, affectionately known as Professor Gadget. So we have uh, unashamedly stolen the uh, the theme song for Inspector Gadget. Not to be confused with Professor Gadget. Jim George is the owner of American Cable Services. He's here to answer your questions about your gadgets, your technology, and the internet, and kind of everything. And uh, good morning, Jim. How Do you doing? Do my best. Good morning. Yeah, the, your, your show has, your, your persona has evolved. It doesn't always happen in radio, but yours has. You have gone from the guy talking about cable and a la carte to everything else. Oh, good, good. Uh, we uh, need to know everything in today's generation. <laughs> Jim, there was one story this morning, and I, I'm not throwing you a curve, I hope, but it was a story about Google discontinuing the first Google Glass wearables. Right. And maybe, maybe it didn't do what they thought it was going to do? Or? It didn't. It didn't. We were offered to buy it, our company. Really? And uh, they were like $2,100. It was very expensive. But it did all these things they promised. So we opted out. So they sent us one anyway as like a test. Oh, really? And every time we tried to use it, there was another problem with it. So uh. we just sent it back said, no, we don't want to buy this. And then we saw them about six months later for sale for like 300 and then 100 and Oh, no. Yeah, they, oh, well, that, that explains yeah. that. So it was supposed to be. It's supposed to mimic something like a heads-up display. In other words, you put the glasses on, and instead of looking at the screen of the computer, it's right there in front yeah, of your eyes. Yeah. Well, well, there was a young lady. I never actually put them on, but she came in here with one on, and she was one of the test people. And uh, I should have asked her, "Can I just put it on one time?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So the phone lines are open. If you have a question for Jim about your gadgets, but you said you brought some gadgets. I did. In, I did. Right? Here's this is one yep. right here. He's got uh, some I'll goodies. Let, uh, what is this? By the way, the number is 622-9622. And what is this? Well, it, it looks like a flashlight. Right. But no batteries. So shake it vigorously. Oh. No, up and down. Not oh, up and down. And down. Oh. <laughs> Get used to that, will you? Put that on All the right. camera. Now, wow. Turn, now turn the switch. Wow. Wow. It's not Oh, working. I guess I'm not vigorous you enough. <laughs> anyway, it's a self-propelled... <laughs> It's a flashlight that you never need batteries for. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little instruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's got a roll of pennies in is what it looks like. Yeah, not yet. All right. So. Well, you okay. put that, that aside. Yeah, just, just, uh, just, just that thank you time. for not shaking it yourself, Jim, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> little trade show yeah. stuff. Trade show. What is that now? Robin's holding that in front of the camera. What is that? That's just like a, a writing pad. That's right. A little small writing pad like for your... Shirt and pocket. Well, and that's not high whatever. tech. Oh, that's I know. But when I go to trade shows, here's here's. Oh, I see the stuff they give you for free. Phillips on one end and. Oh, screwdriver. They give away a lot of tools. Yeah, they don't do. They? Little pen knife. What's the coolest thing oh, you ever got you at go. a trade show? What's here's the, the cool? Thing. Well, I think the thing I gave you that charges up your cell phone. That is cool. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. They were giving those away free, and they cost anywhere between seven and twelve if you go to buy them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice pen too. Yeah. It's so this, all wooden. This, I thought that this is low tech, but I thought that was neat. Oh, sticky tabs. Oh, uh, little, little yeah, tab. tab yeah. Uh, by the way, I got a, a, I don't know how cool it is, but it was cool to me. At, at Walgreens, I got this little tiny um, transmitter, FM transmitter. Uh-huh. And you, I, I attach it to my iPod, tune it to whatever station I have that's available on my radio, and boom, I'm listening without a wire. Yes. That's kind of cool. And they also have one for TV now. They do. Yeah. And what do you, how does that work? It's just a little small thing like this. And yeah. You put, put it into the, uh, I forget which port it goes in. Maybe we, but it has a, no antenna. It used to have an antenna. And now you can watch off the air TV channels. So if you're in the. If, oh, wow. Yeah. This oh, is wow. pretty on cool. Your, on your cell phone. What is, that's just a calculator, right? Yeah. Let's see. We used to be impressed with calculators. But it holds your business cards in there, too. And it has a pen. Oh. It's got a pen. Okay. It should, it should have a pad of paper somewhere. Professor Gadget. Wow. So this is your new, your new identity. Uh-oh. <laughs> you broke something. Uh-oh. 
Uh, you, br- you broke something. Oh, it goes back in there. It's the thing you got to... So now the president is trying oh, okay. to push for um, internet speed. The ag that people are talking about internet speed. So internet speed is a hot topic right now. Yeah. Believe it or not, it's the Department of Agriculture that de- that is... T- t- uh, like overseeing wireless cable TV, right. internet, everything, because they're out and about. Nobody, you know, FCC is stuck home, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so anything new in that world, in the, in, in, the, in the normal world of what you do? Well, the net neutrality thing is very big. You probably have heard, um, I could send you a, I a link. I kind of lost touch of that story. To Tom Wheeler, he's, uh, he's going to be speaking again this year at the National Cable Television Association in May in Chicago, and he says they're going to make this thing happen. Uh, net neutrality. Anybody who wants to, if you want to have your own channel on the internet, you should be allowed to go to every Comcast home there is without Comcast stopping you. It's so you're, you're, it sounds like you, you're speaking with a positive tone to your voice, so you must be in favor of net oh, neutrality. Yeah, I am. Okay. Because we've had, I, and I never knew where to stand on this one. I still don't know. If I had somebody on right now trying to tell me why I should be against it, I guess I'd listen to that person, too. I don't have a big argument either way. But you're the guy. If we ever have that argument, I'll bring you in. Well, the only thing that we we claim is net neutrality is you should not allow Netflix um, a certain speed but ca- charge me money for another speed. Oh, I mean, oh that does make <clears> sense, yeah. I mean, we're, we're all on the Internet. You should be able to go to any site on the Internet you want without having a pop-up that says, oh, you want to go to this site? Pay 10 cents. Oh, my biggest pet peeve of websites are the pop-ups. Yeah. I can't stand the pop-ups right. or the slide-downs. You know the slide-downs? You go to a website and you're reading something, all of a sudden something slides down yep. or slides over. I get those all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I click. <laughs> how come they don't just figure out that nobody likes them? And since that's how they're making their money, because those are advertisements, why don't they just put advertisements the way they normally put advertisements? Simply, like in a newspaper, they just put it to the left, put right. it to the right. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. put it on the thing. I have a pull down that says advertisements. Click here. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> well, not just put it there. Just put it there. Like when you're reading a newspaper, it's off to the side. You shift your eyes. I mean, you have to be clever to design an ad that people will want to look at. Right. So what does that take? Showing some skin? It's usually- <laughs> of course. We've got a knife and a uh, bottle opener and a can opener here. <laughs> I think Robin is into the gadgets. A couple yeah, of these knives. are little gadgets. That's all. Yeah, Everything. that's pretty cool. Now, what is this? What I, is am, I think that's to clean the lens of your glasses. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like that. And you stuff it back in and you're done. You put yeah. on your keychain. You all kind of gadgets. Well, we were putting up uh, cell phone repeaters yesterday for Kids Central. Have you ever heard of Kids Central? It's where you would, uh, no, th- th- sure. that's the community that uh, oversees adoptions and foster children. Oh, yeah. We've, we've done public service announcements. For yeah, kids that's how we know the name. Yeah. Well, they're in a metal building. Was, it's, of course, brick outside, but the roof is metal. And uh, the signal level, you could not use your cell phone inside. Oh, really? So they've been talking to us about putting up a cell phone repeater inside, and we finished it yesterday, all but one antenna. We want, want to add another one, but... Uh, uh, one gentleman in the corner said he had no bars at all before we got there. When we were done, he had three bars and doing 4G. Wow. wow. So mm. you That's go from that. No, no signal whatsoever to screaming. So uh, the technology today does work, but it... You know, it, 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 it's not getting cheaper. Some technology is getting more expensive. Yes, yesterday on the Veterans Show, I don't know if you heard it, they had invited the uh, assistant secretary to the Department of Defense or something, some guy high up in the Pentagon, apparently lives here now or was visiting or something. But anyway, he was talking about, he's a doctor. Uh-huh. So he was talking about the, the way technology enables you and I, or, or anybody, he was specifically addressing veterans, but it's really there for anybody, to basically monitor... Your vital functions, your heart rate, your blood pressure, your glucose, whatever, Mm -hmm. levels. Uh, And then... (laughs) I love this. (laughs) And then... (laughs) I got to get it working. (laughs) There it is. It's working now? There it is, yep. All right. There you go. Wow, you really have to (laughs) work that a while. (laughs) Yes, you do. Yeah, I'm glad that wasn't on video. (laughs) <laughs> it was on video. It was on video. <laughs> but, but, but anyway, so, so shake it, Robin. Shake it. I love this. <laughs> ah, all right, so ah, ah, we're up against that break. Let's take the break. You lost all control. I know. I'm distracted <laughs> easily. <laughs> 
All right, we'll take a little break and we'll be right back with Jim George. The phone lines are open if you want to ask a question about your gadgets or your internet. The number is 622 9622. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. Clouds will give way to some sun with time today, the high between 60 and 64. And partly cloudy tonight, those ranging from about 40 in a few inland spots to 50 along the coast. For tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds. There may be a shower in spots at the coast, the high 69 to 73. For Sunday, partly sunny, the high again 69 to 73. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. This is the Salvation Army, and I'm Major George Patterson to let you know that the Salvation Army is available 24 hours a day to provide help to anyone. We also have a family store at 120 Northwest 10th Street in Ocala. On Tuesday to Saturday from 9 to 4, you can do your shopping, or if you want to donate, you can call 352-732-4469, and we'll even pick up. 352-732-4469. All funds generated by our store go into the programs here in Marion County to help the needy. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years' experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. This is James Snyder inviting you to join me each Sunday morning at 9.30 for Sunday Joy, right here on WOCA 1370. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. This is Austin Tavern reminding you to stay in contact with us at WOCA. Find us on Twitter and Instagram at Voice of Ocala. Make sure to become a friend of our Facebook page and call us at 622-9622. We are the source. WOCA. All right, 18 minutes after 9 o'clock. Jim George is here. Your questions are an important part of the show, so if you have some, go ahead and call in 622-9622. It might be about your TV you just got. Oh, I got a question to ask you that Ronnie, Robin's husband, uh, made me aware of. Uh, Jim is here the, uh, from American Cable Services, and he'll answer your questions. 622-9622. So here's, here's what happened to them, and I, and I don't even think they knew it, and Robin can fill in the blanks. This is what happened. The TV, they got a new TV from their daughter, right? For flat, Christmas. Fl- flat screen TV. My daughter and my son-in-law. And it wasn't exactly doing everything it promised to do. So they call the cable guy, right? Yes. And, and it turns out the, the cable they had was old and smaller than they needed. You need a bigger cable for today's technology. A fatter right. one. Yeah, they had a, a, a 59 cable, and they needed a 6. So it's .59 or .6. So it oh. used to be called RG59, which stood for Radio Grade 59. Okay. Um, and then the, it, they have a fatter one called Radio Grade 6, but they, job, they dropped the R, RG because no one even understands what Radio Grade means. Right, right. Mm-hmm. I don't. So now they just say it's a Series 59 cable or a Series 6. Oh, okay. And then the 6 comes in many different flavors. So uh, wow. right now the cable people use what's called Quad Shield. So it's not only fatter, but it has six sh- different shields to keep interference out of it. But oh, he, but okay. th- and correct me, even your older TV wasn't getting everything it could get because of the same problem. Right. But you guys, they never knew it. They never right. knew exactly. that their cable wasn't big enough. Right. Yeah, the channels were dropping off, and it would have this thing flash up, say, sorry for the interruption of service, and no clue. Oh, you know, yeah. that it isn't was that interesting? Isn't that interesting? So you yeah. need a bigger cable. Yeah, well, it's, it's basically attenuation. The smaller cable... 
um, attenuate signal very quick. The larger cable, it's like a hose, garden hose, a smaller garden hose will only deliver so much water. A bigger garden hose will deliver more water. So mm -hmm. it just goes without reason. And with reason, that if you have a fatter cable, let's say, you can get more signal down there quicker. And your TVs, Makes sense. you know, they, they want to time out too. You turn to a channel, they don't see anything there, they time out. They mm -hmm. go, okay, nothing here. Okay, right, yeah. right, right. But if the signal's there, they go, oh, let's display this. Yeah. And are they color coded? Because this one is a white one. He pulled a white one off the truck and clipped the ends and put those connectors on the ends, hooked it up, it worked right away. No, they come, the cable comes in any color you really want it in. Uh, uh, I mean, white is basically used indoors. Oh, okay. And black is basically used outdoors. The difference is that white cannot protect against UV. Mm -hmm. And so the cable will get brittle. And so after, oh, a, really? so after a year or two, you're changing the cable because now it's hard and cracking. Mm -hmm. Whereas the black one has an oil substance in it and you can flex it all day. And so all the cables you see on the poles are all black. Right, you, you right. You won't see any white. And that's cable. why. That's why. Wow. Mm -hmm. I wonder how they figured that out. They put some white ones out there and they broke, I guess. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's the absence of that that black tar type compound, the oily compound. Yeah, the mm. PVC. It and all all cables today are made basically with PVC. You know, just as a form of oil. So, do we have phone lines at all anymore? We do. For what are we using them well, for? Well, first of all, Lifeline, because if you have okay. voice over IP, uh -huh. and which is delivered through the internet, and the power would go off. You couldn't use voice over IP because, oh, okay. because you have to power the internet. Uh huh. All right. Unless you had Ocala Electric Utility. <laughs> oh. Because Ocala Electric Utility, they maintain theirs differently mm -hmm. than a cable. In other words, a cable company is at the mercy of the electric company. The electric company, if they deliver it, they're, they're their own structure. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. They'll make okay. sure it's up. But anyway, so Lifeline, even in your own home, if you have. Um, uh, if you don't, if you no longer want a phone in your home, you don't want to pay the bill or whatever right, it is, right. they will give you Lifeline for five dollars, which oh allows you to, which allows that's you a to, good idea, which allows you to call nine one one. Well, and, and getting back to what I was talking about before the break, the, that works hand in hand with these devices. So let's say you, you know, you're getting up in age or whatever, you, your health is not as good as it once was. <clears throat> you can have one of these devices; it'll monitor what's going on with you health wise. And maybe you don't understand all those numbers, but your doctor will. And and you can basically just send that information through the line so that he can say, oh, I can see what your heart rate is doing. I can see how your, how your oxygen level is. Everything that he was talking about, it's all right there. All right there. And, and it's, it's on your wrist. It's just like a wristwatch. Yeah, the larger ones, I've actually installed some for some of the tenants out at Ocala Palms. It's a, um, a white box that's maybe... Uh, three inches thick and uh, maybe nine by five just a little small box but you can put your finger in there to prick your blood for you and it, it'll sample it oh and, wow and it'll call the doctor if it's uh, uh too high oh, wow. oh nice yeah, everything it, and it's also a help i've fallen down and can't get up device mm -hmm. really yeah so you have a little pennant on uh -huh. your around your neck or a little watch band and if you fall down you click it and in a minute it says calling for help mm -hmm. it calls the person on the other end actually answers, and you can be like 50 feet away from this box, and you're talking through your watch. Oh, wow. Or through your pennant, and talking to them and saying, I, I, I can't get up. I'm, okay, we'll send someone over right away. So, rather, so you're actually physically speaking to them rather than just a right. beep or a buzz. Right, through the phone line. Okay. Unbelievable. Which is better than the beep or the buzz, because the beep or the buzz, the <laughs> operator doesn't know what the heck it is. Maybe it's an accident. Maybe you accidentally push the button. At least this way they can communicate. Right. Are you Okay. And then for the older people who want to live in their own home until they pass away or something else happens, they move, um, they make a wireless device that you can put in the room, like the bedroom. And um, then you set the timer. You, the grandson or the son, set the timer. And if there's no movement in that bedroom after a certain time, right. it sends an alarm to the person who put it in saying, there's been no movement in the house. You might want to call and oh, wow. see if that person's okay. Oh my. The other one I, I didn't quite understand, and it, it almost sounded nasty a little bit, but apparently us guys have to milk our prostates. Did you know this? I did not. <laughs> 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 no, never mind. Yeah. So, so the way he was explaining it, We'll have a competition The way here. he was explaining <laughs> get my flashlight out. it is you have to <laughs> stimulate it, and there's an electronic thing you can buy uh -huh. that helps you do that because you can't do it yourself. It's You can't do it the other way? 
I see. I don't know. I, I I was too embarrassed to ask. The normal way. So your thing, electronic thing, you got to put in there. Whoa. I, I, <laughs> and it, it somehow sends. Call in, everybody. Call. In. It somehow it somehow uh, measures the size if it's bigger than a walnut or something. Yeah. Then your doctor finds out over the phone line or over the cable, whatever it oh does. Oh my God. I, it's wow. probably Let's something for women shopping. too. I bet. I'm not going to find out. Though. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Puts a new meaning to the word enema. Well, it's, it's like Gee. it's like you know when you hear about these things, you say, "Well, wait a minute. My grandfather didn't need that. Yeah. And why, yeah. Why, why do I need that? Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you remember there was a Seinfeld you bit? Can't do it the Seinfeld was doing way. a com, um, a <laughs> comedy bit. He was doing a show, and this was the beginning of cell phones. And somebody's cell phone rings in the audience, and he says, this guy actually believes he needs that phone. And, and mm-hmm. it was funny because nobody else had a phone, but this guy, now everybody has the phone, yeah. probably yeah. in Seinfeld included, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Well, you know, that post, that, that could open up a whole new industry. You know, you get Nurse Betty, and she comes to your house. and she, Oh, yeah. You know? Takes care of it for you. Oh, we went back to the prostate milking thing? <laughs> <laughs> we, we just rewound a little bit. 30, that's right. That's right. That she knows how re- to hook up those electrodes, you know? <laughs> it was on <all> my mind. <laughs> I'm, 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 of course. Let me get my flashlight on my Kindle, On my Kindle, when I'm reading a book, or it's reading it to me, actually, yeah. I can hit a button that takes it back 30 seconds. Right. Like, let's say I was distracted. I hit a button. goes. That's what just happened. You just hit the button. And it went back. <laughs> Rewind. Forget this cell phone conversation. Yeah, but it's technology. You have to be abreast of technology. <laughs> now, now we're getting on to the breast. All right. So <laughs> this has turned into a different show. I'm telling you. <laughs> Professor Gadget. What kind of gadgets will you bring in next week? Uh, after this, I may not. I <laughs> Do you have a show that's coming up soon? There's a, a trade show? Actually, there is. Um, r- right now is IT Expo in uh, Miami, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be going to the uh, Bixie Conference in Tampa. Bixie is your building integrated uh, certification. So all the structured wire, like you see in this building here, all the fiber, everything, that's controlled by Bixie as far as the certifications. Oh, really? And I'll be going to that February 22nd, so I'll be bringing back a bunch of goodies. Oh, wow. You know, I want to ask you, what does the I, what the IT actually stand for? Internet. So really? I, an iPhone is an internet phone? Well, they, they, have they the might I, call it intelligent oh, phone. intelligent phone. But IP stands for internet protocol. Oh, okay. But what oh. about IT? When they say IT. That's still internet technology. Internet technology. Wow, yeah. that's Not intelligent technology. Do you, do you go to different uh, civic groups around our community and give talks and things about how they can improve their area of living, like Oak Run, you know, all of those gated communities? I have spoken to several of them. The Qantas has had me. The uh, Elks have you know, had me speak for them. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and basically, it's just one of those morning breakfasts where it's all, all the business people are get there, and they just need someone to speak. So I guess they ran out of people, and they said, let's get Jim to come. You know, he's always good for a laugh. <laughs> but, uh, good for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know what you do? You bring that gadget that the doctor was talking about. That'll get a laugh. Oh, boy. And Nurse Betty. Well, she won't get a laugh. She'll yeah, <laughs> no, but... <laughs> get, a, get a rise. Hey, I'm over here. You know? <laughs> yeah, but as a, a Professor Gadget, though, I mean, you've got to stay on top of everything in the technology industry, especially your, your cable system going back to the, the Comcast thing in the beginning because more people want to have their own channel and yours is the best resource to have. Yeah, very shortly now. I mean, we've already made deals with the Chinese and with the... Uh, um, a- United Arab you know, Republic, we have Arab, Lebanese channels and Syrian channel. Um, everybody says, do you have any USA channels? Well, they're harder to get because the, the, the cable companies, uh, a lot of cable companies own those channels. Like mm-hmm. Comcast literally owns 35 channels. So if they don't want you to be a competitor to them, they won't give it to you. And that's where the, no, level, really? that's where the level playing field comes in wow. that Congress is trying to get. So we're working on it. But we should be launching here by April. Well, we, we're going to do a TV nice. show. We're going to do a TV by show April. with you. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going we're gonna to figure out some, how to, some way to do this. All right. We're ready to go. We're ready there's to your, go. There's your new inspector, I mean, Professor Gadget professor Music. Professor Gadget. What's your phone number, Jim? 854-9795. Call Jim if you have questions about your gadget or about American Cable Services, and uh, he'll answer them. Thank you, Jim. That was fun. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> Fox News 
Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Police across Europe moving in on suspected terrorists in three countries. Fifteen suspects arrested after police in Belgium killed two men who they say were hours away from launching a terrorist assault on police. In Paris, there have been 12 more arrests in relation to last week's attacks. German police also detaining two suspected militants. Fox Radio, Simon Owen. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry's in Paris to express our solidarity with the French people following terror attacks. Carrie Lang reads at two locations.